Wow. That's a lot of fire. going on everybody my name is Jay and welcome to the ship life so as you just saw in the video there is a major fire that has engulfed a ferry over in Greece there's also believed to be at least two passengers that are stuck on board and a rescue is underway so I will go over the details that are available so far also in cruise news we do have a brief but final update when it comes to the man overboard or I should say woman overboard situation on board the carnival valor this has been an absolutely tragic situation but this will be the last time I'm talking about this particular subject in any of my videos and finally Finally, we do have to talk about the CDC and cruising. As the CDC has made it so this is the final day for the cruise lines to opt into their COVID program. Now, unfortunately, there, well, depending on how you look at it, fortunately or unfortunately, some cruise lines just aren't interested. Well, in fact, there's actually only one cruise line that's interested. We'll talk about it in today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. So a search and rescue mission is currently underway over in Greece after a ferry known as the Euro Ferry Olympia caught fire, forcing the 239 passengers and 51 crew to have to evacuate. This is all according to the Coast Guard over in that area. Now the Coast Guard over in Greece reportedly received a phone call about the fire at approximately 4.30 p.m. local time. This took place yesterday which was Thursday on February 17th. Now at the time when they received the report about the fire the ship was near Corfu, Greece and there had already been smoke and mayday signals coming from the ship. Now the ship was supposed to be going from northwestern Greece going over to southern Italy however and unfortunately they'd never make it over there. Now, now, at this point in time, there has been no reported deaths when it comes to the fire. There's only been a couple light injuries. I believe it was three, and then they have a baby that is being evaluated, examined, and checked for any injuries or potential smoke inhalation. Now, there are also two passengers that are missing. So they believe that they could potentially be on the ship, which is why they are having the search and rescue mission. The cause of the fire at this point in time is unknown. However, it is believed that it started somewhere on the bottom of the ship and somehow expanded. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be an investigation and I do hope that these two passengers that are missing are found safe and sound. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I will, of course, be doing a follow-up to this story because obviously whether the ship is big, small, ferry, or cruise ship, this is a nightmare scenario that sends shivers down really anybody's spine. Let's just hope that all this comes out to a good ending and nobody is harmed. So just stay tuned. Now, moving on, we do have to briefly talk about the situation on the Carnival Valor. At this point in time, most of you have already been following the story. I did three videos talking about everything that was going on, giving all of you an update. There was a 32 year old woman that apparently got into an argument with a man on board the Carnival Valor being very belligerent at least according to some of the guests on board and eyewitnesses she was being detained by some of the security on board it is unclear whether she's being handcuffed or not there is a very small clip that shows her just kind of having her hands put behind her back by the security however I said in my comments yesterday you don't exactly know the full story we don't know everything that happened in that scenario based off of a 15 second clip now this woman ended up I guess getting away from security and jumping into the water then there was a search and rescue team now we have concluded that when it comes to the Coast Guard over in the US that were searching for the woman after searching for two whole days over 2,500 square miles unfortunately they were unable to find this woman and they are now calling off the search now obviously the Coast Guard and the people involved with the search are not happy by any scenario they are giving their sympathies to the families and loved ones of this woman and personally I do too no matter what happened how this woman was acting obviously this situation is never good but it is extremely sad so I do give my condolences and my sympathies to the friends family and loved ones of this woman and this will be the last time I'm talking about this subject because obviously there's not much left to say here anyway if anybody happened to have been sailing on that particular ship and there's something that they saw please let me know in the comment section below or maybe something that they know because obviously I do want to continue to have the conversation I just don't want to make full-fledged videos about it also I do want to point out for everybody that was saying that I shouldn't be talking about it or whatever the case is guys you got to understand that on my channel here I do comment on everything going on within the cruising and shipping industry and of course with a little bit of travel just in general tied into it I believe that the awareness is very important and regardless of how you guys think I report on things or talk about things or comment on things I know that there is gonna be somebody out there that just is not gonna like the way I'm doing things it is what it is I apologize but at the same time I'm not really sorry because there is only a certain way that things can be done by a specific person I have my personality and all the other content creators have their personality as well and what they talk about 
about. It is what it is. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and move on. Now finally, as we sail into our last topic for today's video, that of which being between the CDC and the cruise lines, of course you guys should smash that like button. If you're getting some type of value from this video in any way, shape, or form, it goes a very long way in support of my channel. Also make sure you guys subscribe, that way you can stay updated whenever I post more videos like this, or videos involving shipping, cruise ships, the ship life, life involving ships, you get the idea. So basically today is February 18th. This is also the last day that cruise lines can opt into the CDC's COVID program. Now we do know the CSO, the conditional sailing order, did expire earlier this year on January 15th, basically meaning that cruise lines could essentially do whatever it is that they want as far as how they are going to handle the COVID procedures, reporting cases, all that other stuff on board their ships. However, the CDC was like, hey, wait a minute, if you guys still want to work with us, we can, uh, you know, just make sure everything is as organized as possible. So the CDC COVID program does involve like the color coded system. I'm sure you guys have seen this, green being that the cruise ship is good to go, yellow means it's under investigation. However, if they don't opt into this program by today, their color would be gray, meaning that they are not involved with the CDC's COVID plans and programs at all. But either way, whether they opt in or out today, they also have to report to the CDC's maritime unit on why they are doing whichever scenario it is that they're following. Now, the only people that have chosen to opt in so far, and they might end up being, I guess, the only one with about 20 cruise ships would be NCL. NCL, however, has decided that they are going to change up their masking policy and essentially remove masking policies on March 1st, which I do believe, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, kind of goes against the CDC's wishes, and, and even though it's not part of the program. Now, we don't know exactly what this program entails. However, like I said, they have the color-coded system, and we know the CDC would like the cruise lines at some point to require boosters as part of being fully vaccinated in order to sail on board their ships. Now, will NCL do it? Will any other cruise line do that? It is hard to say as of right now with, of course, the COVID numbers dropping due to Omicron and everything else that's going on. You got a lot of places over in Europe and even Canada starting to roll back COVID measures and pandemic measures. It's kind of hard to tell what exactly is going to come of this. But I think this does kind of set the tone being that only one cruise line decided to opt into the CDC's program, not even Royal Caribbean, because if you guys don't know, both Royal Caribbean and NCL kind of have like a little partnership program thing. This program is known as the Healthy Sail Panel, which means that technically Royal Caribbean and NCL are kind of like a partner. They're following each other as far as their decisions. Royal Caribbean, however, has not opted into the COVID program with the CDC. But either way, I believe this does kind of set the tone, meaning that the cruise lines are basically saying at this point, thank you, CDC, for all your help and involvement, but we kind of want to do our own thing. We're adults. We want to fend for ourselves. And I believe looking at the overall environment, where we are with the pandemic and the numbers, it does make sense. The cruise lines are a group of adults, the people that run it. They're their own company, and they should be able to run things how they see fit so long as things don't get out of hand, there's no deaths or somebody with severe cases of COVID being hospitalized and we don't have some crazy scenario where things go bad. But either way, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think is going to come out of this whole CDC situation? Do you think the CDC will get angry and clamp down because only one cruise line opted in? Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate every single one of you on your way out. Of course, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share your thoughts, share this video. It goes a very long way in support of my channel. And I'll see all of you later. Take it easy.